Hey guys, how's it going today? So today I want to do a quick video on what a stock split is, and actually I'm going to explain what a reverse stock split as well. So simply put, what a stock split is, is was when the board of directors decides that they want to split the price of the stock by a certain factor, and then the number of shares um, will increase by the, the same amount. So fundamentally, there's no difference that occurs in the company. Um, there'll be no difference in share price, shareholders will not be affected, uh, shareholders will get more shares, but their share price will be less. <clears throat> so for example here, uh, this is Apple one that comes to mind. Back in 2014, they did a seven to one. So I I believe that the share price back then was around 700 and some dollars a share. So let's make the assumption it was $700 a share at the time. Um, so if they do a seven to one, what that means is <clears throat> the share price will now go from $700 a share to $100, right? So that's the factor of seven that goes down. Now let's say that there was 100 shares outstanding uh, for the company as a whole. Well, now there's 700 shares. So as you can see, if you think about it, there's no difference whatsoever. There's just more shares outstanding and the share price is less. So it, this is kind of can be explained by my video entitled, What is a Stock? I kind of explain this. I'll put a little link at the end of this video uh, if you watch it to the end on, on that video. Um, so it's basically kind of like when the company goes IPO, they can decide how many shares they can sell and at what price and whatnot, right? So the reasons, well, what is the reason that, it, that the board of directors would decide to do this? Well, it doesn't really make much sense, you know, intuitively because it's not making any difference. But one of the biggest quoted factors is that um, it makes the share price seem especially to small investors, retail investors, more attractive. Um, and also people that don't have um, a significant amount of capital to invest are maybe not able to buy it. So if you look at Apple right now, that seven to one would put Apple at nearly $1,200 a share. Um, say you only have $200 of cash to invest, well now you can buy a share of Apple, right? Uh, whereas before you, unless you're dealing with some company or something that will allow you to do uh, fractional shares, you can't even buy a share. So that in turn increases the demand um, for the stock, uh, for people buying it and more people can get in. So the share price goes up. So Apple is very smart in that way. And actually what happened was, I believe right after this split, you can even see whether it's correlated completely or not, the stock, the share price continued to rise. Um, I believe even the next day it was up significantly. Um, another reason that a lot of people don't know and actually don't even think about why Apple is so strategic is <laughs> Apple um, shortly after this joined the Dow Jones Industrial Average and where they might have been able to get in with a 700 and some dollar price target what a lot of people don't know is that the Dow Jones is a price weighted index and I'm going to do a video on this later if you guys want um, but basically what that means is that stocks that are in that index, there's a whole bunch of companies in the index, um, the ones with a higher price are weighted more. So basically what that means is that uh, the share price changes the volatility in Apple would, in Apple would have a huge uh, effect on the Dow as a whole. So that would affect the committee that decides whether or not Apple could enter the Dow that would affect their decision and probably would say, well, we really don't want Apple, this big tech company. Back then it was a little bit more volatile. There was a lot of questions at the time what was going on. Maybe that was in their mind too. So they might've said no, right? They probably would have said no. But after that seven to one split, their price is down significantly. It makes them a better candidate. And what happened? They got in. So Apple's actually been seen doing this quite a bit, I believe. Yeah, in 05, 2000, they've had several splits. So on the other hand, it's very good. I, I see a stock split as a very great thing. Um, I do not know why some companies have not split. Uh, one that comes to mind is Amazon. Let's take a look here. Because this is essentially where Apple's share price would be right now. And if you watch my other video, you can see how this share price is kind of irrelevant, right? Some people will look at it and go, well, Amazon is doing so well. Look, they're $1,100 a share. Well, that's because they have 481 million shares outstanding. You know, Apple, oh, Apple's only $171. Well, they have 5.13 billion shares outstanding, right? And a, <laughs> a huge effect, excuse me, 
a huge effect of that is being the split, right? So that's why share price is kind of meaningless and you should be looking at value. But I digress here. Let's go back to what a stock, um, a reverse stock split is. So this is one that came to mind. So what a reverse stock split is, is it's the complete opposite, if you could think of it that way. Well, that's what it is. So this uh, Citigroup did uh, a reverse stock split here, uh, a 1 to 10. So basically what that means is, say, um, well, we'll start with the share price here. <clears throat> so the share price, <clears throat> excuse me, the share price uh, right now, say it happened right now, was approximately $70 a share, just for the sake of argument here. Okay, the price would increase by a factor of 10, a 1 to 10 reverse split, right? So it would be $700 a share now, right? But the number of shares that you have would reduce by a factor of 10. So if you own 10 shares, well now you only own one share, right? So this one can be even a little, can seem even a little bit crazier again here. Why, why we want to increase our share price and decrease the number of shares that our shareholders have? Well, in a lot of cases, this is um, not a good thing I found in many smaller companies. Um, sometimes they want to decrease volatility because uh, this tends to do that. But one of the biggest reasons I've seen is uh, companies that are fearing being delisted from exchanges because exchanges have certain rules associated with them um, to, to maintain, uh, to, to stay on a, an exchange. So if a share price is getting way too low, they might be um, in some trouble, right? So that's the basic gist of... Uh, what a stock split is and a reverse stock split. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. Be sure to like the video uh, and subscribe and hit that notification button so you can see when I come up with new videos. Anyway, uh, that will be it for today, guys, and you have a good day.